Hi, this video is to highlight the current status of the Matter Innovation Hub program done in partnership with JAMF. As one of JAMF's community education initiatives, this all started with a volunteer trip by several JAMFs in 2017. During the first implementation down in Haiti, we realized getting students involved was going to be a key aspect of the program. We quickly moved from simply trying to get technology to learners with no access to a new focus of changing the way they interacted with the learning. The Matter Innovation Hub program kicked off with a second facility, City Soleil in Haiti. Within minutes of being there, the students became engaged with their own learning. We next moved to providing the same shipping container version of the Matter Innovation Hub to the Victoria Falls area. In addition to serving students of Victoria Falls Primary School, this program also had students coming from four different local schools in the afternoon to utilize the Matter Innovation Hub. After a period of time and some proven success, funds were provided to build a permanent facility, one that included not only an active learning side, but also a flexible learning side. In addition to the larger version of the Matter Innovation Hub, we've also been able to implement some smaller projects. At the Malayaka House Orphanage in Uganda, where there's only about 40 students, we were able to put in a station, initially sponsored by a third-party corporation, to put in a single table with five iPads. That has now grown to 15 iPads and we've seen significant level of growth and progress by this group of learners during the pandemic. While they weren't able to attend school, they were able to take full use of the hub. Thanks to another sponsor, Gorgie Dang, a former basketball player with the Minnesota Timberwolves, we were able to put a learning station at the MBA Academy in Senegal to help young men and young women who were preparing to hopefully attend college in the United States. Playing basketball is great, we wanted to also help build their critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity skills. Our next location is probably the biggest challenge so far, as it's an opportunity in a rural community near the capital city of Harare in Zimbabwe. This facility supports learners from early primary through secondary school with over a thousand students. The design of the Matter Innovation Hub promotes the concept that students not only can actively engage, but physically engage with what they're doing. In another area of Zimbabwe, we found a group of students that are the children of workers at the Wange National Park. These students have very little. And from what began by a one-day experience has now become the new home of the original Matter Innovation Hub that was delivered to Victoria Falls Primary. We relocated that once we had built the fixed facility in Victoria Falls. As recently as April in 2021, with the help of another corporate donor, we opened the Matter Innovation Hub with partnership with the Bayak Group in Kabul, Afghanistan. This facility is located in conjunction with the Michelle Bayat School on the campus of the Red Crescent for students grade 1 through 12 whose parents have been displaced and families have been displaced due to conflict. What's next? We're in the middle of outfitting four domestic sites, all scheduled to open before the end of August 2021. Two are in partnership with Urban Ventures in Minneapolis. One's a fixed facility and one's a mobile. The other is with the Tony Sauna Foundation in St. Paul. The fourth that we just contracted to open up will be with St. James Independent School District, whose student population is over 50% Hispanic. In all of these situations, what we found is the real barrier to change 
and student success is more in the attitude of all those involved and in providing the right technology that can adapt and, and promote transformational learning. Thank you.